Good evening. This is Agashwani Kohima. I'm Jonas Yantan with evening news. The headlines. Chief Electoral Officer Nagaland says state is fully prepared for the upcoming Lok Sabha election. Enforcement agencies make a record seizure of over 4,650 crore rupees before Lok Sabha poll commences. Congress Party President Malikarjun Karke to visit Nagaland tomorrow to address a public meeting. And Nagaland Governor La Ganesan emphasizes on the importance of drawing inspiration from teachings of spiritual leaders and ancestors. Now the news in detail. Chief Electoral Officer Nagaland Vyasan R has said that the state is fully prepared for the upcoming Lok Sabha election with a motto to have a smooth, free and fair polls in the state. Speaking exclusively to Agashwani News Kohima today, Vyasan said 48 companies of Central Armed Police Force have arrived in the state. He said in addition the district executive forces, home guards and village guards will also be deployed for the poll duty across the state. Vyasan stated that the international borders are being manned by the Assam Rifles while the civil administration, especially in the role of flying squad and static civilians team, are intercepting any legal money and drugs. The CEO informed that 13 lakh 17,536 registered voters will be casting their votes in 2,342 polling stations in the state. He said that there will be 513 all-women polling stations spread across the state besides four people with disabilities managed polling stations each in Kohima, Peik, Mugukchung and Twensang. The CEO said about 625 polling stations have been identified as vulnerable and critical while 717 has not been categorised. On monetary value seizure, he said 1 crore 7 lakh 81,225 rupees has been seized by the state police and 13 lakh 95,223 rupees has been seized by the excise. Asserting that the election is a celebration of democracy, the CEO also appealed to all eligible voters, including the ENPO members, to cast their votes on polling day. The enforcement agencies have made a record seizure of over 4,650 crore rupees before the first phase of polling for the 18 Lok Sabha elections commences on Friday. Election Commission has said that this marks a sharp increase over 3,475 crore rupees seized during the entire Lok Sabha election in 2019. The Commission said 45% of the seizures are of drugs and narcotics. It said the seizures have been possible by comprehensive planning, scaled-up collaboration and unified deterrence action from agencies and proactive citizens' participation. The Commission said the enhanced seizures reflect Election Commission's unwavering commitment to monitor inducements and curb electoral malpractices for a level playing field, particularly in favour of smaller and less resourceful parties. The seizures are a critical part of Election Commission resolve to conduct the Lok Sabha elections free of inducements in electoral malpractices and to ensure a level playing field. The Commission has also taken strict action against 106 government servants who have been found assisting politicians in campaigning, thereby violating the Code of Conduct and Instructions. Congress Party President Malik Arjun Karke is scheduled to visit Nagaland tomorrow to address a public meeting in Dimapur. This was stated by All India Congress Committee in charge of Nagaland, Manipur, Sikkim and Tripura, Girish Chotankar, while addressing a press meet at Congress Pawan in Kohima today. The Congress leader expressed confidence that INDIA alliance would form the government at the centre. He announced that the Congress candidate, who is also the NPCC president, would get a cabinet berth in Delhi, recognising his hard work for reviving the party and organising Rahul Gandhi's Parad Joro Nai Yatra, which was well received by the Congress leader. Chodankar said the ensuing election is about saving the future of India and safeguarding the constitution. 
expressing apprehension of a booth capturing on the polling day by the ruling government in the state. The Congress leader said the party will also meet the chief electoral officer of Nagaland and intimate the election commission and the entire machineries to ensure free and fair election. Kohima District Day commenced casting a postal ballot by the absentee voters' essential services, AVES, for Lok Sabha election. A notification from the Deputy Commissioner and District Election Officer Kohima, Kumar Ramnikan, said that the exercise will continue till 17th April at the Postal Voting Centre set up at DP Court at the DC Office Complex from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. This news comes to you from Akashvani, Gohima. You can also listen to this news bulletin on News on Air app and YouTube channel AIA News, Gohima. A combined force of Central Industrial Security Force, Porter Security Force and Nagaland Armed Police organized a joint flight march in Mukukchung Town today. Mukukchung Superintendent of Police along with officers and personnel and representatives from the district administration also took part in the march. The flag march was organized to instill confidence among the voters for conduct of a free and fair poll. Governor of Nagaland, La Kanesan, has emphasized on the importance of drawing inspiration from the teachings of our spiritual leaders and wisdom of our ancestors. The governor was speaking at the inauguration of Girtan Pawan at Sri Sri Vintia Basini Mandir in Metsifema today. He said the inauguration of Girtan Pawan and Hawan Kund signifies the commitment of spiritual enlightenment and communal harmony. The governor stated that the Girtan Pawan stands as a beacon of faith and devotion, while the Hawan Kund represents a sacred fire pit used for performing Hawan or Yachnas, which are ancient Vedic rituals and holds great spiritual and symbolic significance in Hinduism. La Kanesan called on the citizens to uphold the values that unite us, such as compassion, empathy and a shared sense of purpose. Kifre District Project Officer, Department of Land Resources, Lipichem has informed that Kolar has been labelled as one District 1 product for Kifre. In this regard, the Project Officer urged the concerned department to impart the necessary training to the farmers. Libichem was speaking at a two-day training on improved cultivation practice of pea under rice pea cropping systems at Gifre today. The training is being organized by District Horticulture Office, Krishi Vikyan Kentra and District Fishery Office and funded by Indian Institute of Pulses Research, Kanpur. Emphasizing that with population growth, demand is increasing and stressed on the need to improve productivity with limited resources. Senior scientist and head of Krishi Vikyan Kentra, Dr. Lahar Joyti Bordalai, and the District Fishery Officer Nzantang Yantan also spoke on the occasion. Chief Technical Officer Krishi Vikyan Kentra, Dr. Kamdemo Ezung, gave a technical session on balsas. Over 30 farmers are attending the training. Gracious Life Foundation, a non-governmental organization, today held an awareness program on school mental health at Government High School, Sovima, under Jumagidima District. The program was conducted for students of class 8, 9 and 10 with the objective to educate the students on mental health and issues related to it. The program covered different topics like mental health, negative impact of social media on mental health, substance addiction and stress management. A total of 61 students attended the program. Gracious Life Foundation offers a range of mental health services such as psychiatric, OPT, counselling services and community outreach programs. Various awareness programs are conducted in different educational institutions, churches and at community level to spread awareness on mental health and to reduce stigma associated to mental illness. And now it's when the news, here are the headlines again. Chief Electoral Officer Nagaland says state is fully prepared for the upcoming Lok Sabha election. Enforcement agencies make a record seizure of over 4,650 crore rupees before Lok Sabha poll commences. 
Congress Party President Malik Arjun Kharge to visit Nagaland tomorrow to address a public meeting. And Nagaland Governor La Kinesan emphasizes on the importance of drawing inspiration from the teachings of spiritual leaders and ancestors. That is all we have in this evening news bulletin. Good night.